Figure out where all the sleds all are. The sleds are at. Yep. So if, you, if you need three over here and four over there, and there's only one and two, then they'll say, "Okay, we need to get get ready for them tomorrow." Yep. yep. So how many accidents? What percentage of accidents happened at the end of the day, last couple hours? I'm tell you one statistic. A hundred percent of all accidents occur on the skiers' last run. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I had that coming. It takes a little bit. That know. was like, wait, well, you had me hooked, you yeah. had me reeled to the yeah. boat, the you dry, had a gap in my mouth. That's right. The dry, I presented it dry. Really? The last run of the day, 100% of the Now I was just thinking if you get tired, you know, and I was going to have high percentage of accidents happen. Yeah, you know, uh, exactly. You know, like a pulled calf or, you know, you, you can't get that last panic turn done, you know, because you don't have enough in the gas tank, and that happens to me too. So, yeah, I would imagine. It, it really starts after lunch. That's when it happens. Uh -huh. you know, like lunch, you know, uh, about one, two, two years. Uh, and right now, normally going crazy. There's my son in the yellow. That's awesome. <laughs> He's not as adventurous, thank goodness, as his friends. He's working on it though. But, yeah, he like they all like to do that little stuff. Bless him, I don't I, I don't I don't like to leave the ground. But you know, um I don't I don't want to put more for, put a percentage on it, but you know, I think um if you look at statistics, they say ski is a lot less basketball and everything else. We had so fifteen thousand people on the basketball court. Yeah. It is for me. I, you couldn't slide a credit card. Take care, guys. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you.
Can't hurt stopping on the mouth. Mm -hmm. Have you? Yeah, that's fine. I think so. Really? We have to stay ready to go right once. Yeah. Yeah. I've done dinners up here, like yeah. slave rides. Yeah, yeah, real yeah. slave rides with real sleds yeah. and real yeah. horses. Yeah. They're awesome. They're, awesome. They're also a study. They have room in the and You have big bank slopes, rope toes, cool rope toes too. So there's really cool things like that. A lot of snowmobiles. Yeah, I, we took the sled ride and it took us over to uh, Ragnar's restaurant. And it was just, the food wasn't very good. It was way overpriced. Way, way. I mean, like, grossly overpriced. And I was trying to do special day and uh, it was okay. I mean, it's all right. We would never do it again. But it was nowhere close to what we were charged for. The service was really bad. So, now I took Karen and Marco to that restaurant the last time I was up here with them and Kayla and McKenzie and the service was terrible. And same place. Yeah. yeah and, like I ordered more than us. Pasta was there was, I, I don't think there was a cup of pasta and it was four shrimp, five shrimp, for like $25. I don't know. It's a great location. You know, we just skied the lodge over, we just skied down on sundown of that lodge there. Yeah. It's in there. They have a real nice cafeteria there, too, so it's a good place to stop and eat. But Ragnar Restaurant, I don't regret it. How do you get there after hours? You take the gondola up and then you get a sled and go on the snow cap. The big, they have them. I don't know if you noticed them when you came off of, took the Alcat lift up and came down by the gondola. There was two real long wooden sleds there. Okay. And uh, so they hook those up to a snow cap. And it's about a 10 minute ride. I'm taking my time on this one. Me too. Make the clock.